Digital streaming is an industry worth more than 141 billion US dollars. This amount is huge, isn't it? Well, this is one of the reasons why many entrepreneurs are investing in developing a digital streaming application. In today's video, we will discuss how you can build a digital streaming application. By the end of the video, you will be clear about the fundamentals of OTT application, what goes into the process, and how much it will cost. If you have not subscribed to our channel, pause the video right now and click the subscribe button. Also make sure that you have hit the bell icon to get notified about our new videos as soon as we post. Without any further delay, let's dive into the topic, how to build a digital streaming application. You should know that when we talk about digital streaming, there are three main types in the market. Each of these types of streaming platforms has its unique and distinctive features. Video streaming applications are one of the most popular types of OTT apps. These apps are a popular source of audiovisual entertainment and are used to stream movies, sitcoms, animations, series, and more. The video streaming market is popular amongst the younger generations, with slogans like Netflix and Chill being used on a day to day basis. Another popular form of digital streaming is audio streaming. Music streaming, podcasts, and radio are the most popular forms of audio streaming. In case you aren't aware, let us tell you that the industry worth for audio streaming stands at $29 billion and is growing at a rapid pace. The third and last type of digital streaming service is live streaming. This type of streaming is highly popular and is used in segments like entertainment, marketing, education, corporates, and more. The content is streamed in real time and can also be saved by the content streamer for viewers to watch later. Now that you know about the different types of digital streaming services, it is the right time to discuss about how we can create a digital streaming application. Digital streaming apps are no different from other applications, and therefore they too have a development process. The exact development process for the OTT application depends upon the type of application you prefer to develop. However, the basics still remain the same. Let's look at the more common basic steps to developing a digital streaming application. The first step here is to identify the target audiences. It is always good to know your target market before you actually start to build a digital streaming app. Therefore, we suggest you to identify your target market and research it to know if your services are what the consumers are looking for. Conducting a survey and using the received answers will add value to your application. Once you have planned your app ideas, the next step is to decide upon how your app will generate revenue. Of course, revenue generation is the core of every business. Digital streaming platforms have different types of monetization models. The choice depends upon whether you choose to build a video, audio, or live streaming platform. Have a look at the most popular monetization models for each type of platform in the digital streaming sector. Once your app ideas are complete, you can think of actually building an app. To begin to do so, you need to plan about the technology you will choose for app development. Your app will either be a native one or a cross-platform one. Take a look at the pros and cons of native and cross-platform development to help you make a better choice. In streaming app development, another important tech-related decision is about the choice of the cloud service provider. Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google Cloud, and Alibaba Cloud are the top choices in the market. The content which you will make available on your platform will be stored on these cloud servers. Once you know your app's technological requirements, you can go ahead with the designing part and transform your ideas into an actual app design. Visual interaction is the first interaction that the user has with the application. Therefore, it is essential to develop an app with an eye-appealing design. Moreover, the app design acts as a guideline for development. We recommend you to create an app design that is sorted, aesthetic, and highly functional. Once you are done with designing the UX and UI of your application, you can start with the actual app development process.
This is the actual app development part, where your digital streaming application will be developed. However, being the top app development company, we can say that just developing an app is not enough. It is equally important that you test your application to make sure that you deliver a bug-free and well-performing application. Our secret to delivering high-quality apps is that we follow agile methodology and automated testing for development. This allows us to deliver our digital products faster without compromising on quality. You will also have to choose a protocol for streaming the content on your application. HTTP Live Streaming Real-Time Messaging Protocol Secure Reliable Transport and Dynamic Adaptive Streaming over HTTP are the top protocols for digital streaming applications. Once you have developed the app, tested it, and corrected the bugs, your app is all set to be launched in the market. Based on which approach you choose to develop your application, your app will be launched on the OS Store. You will also undertake app maintenance and updation to regularly add new features to the digital streaming application. Once you have reached this stage, you are already done developing your digital streaming application and have launched it to the market. Now you can upload content on the platform and use it to generate revenue. It would be unfair if we talk about how to develop a digital streaming app and do not cover the costing part. So let's take a look at how much it will cost you to build a digital streaming application. There are many factors that go into building a digital streaming app. As a result, it is difficult to tell exactly how much your digital streaming app will cost. But don't be disheartened. We have a way to figure out how to find an estimated cost for your app. The features of digital streaming applications are unique and depend upon the type of the application. Therefore, the cost will vary on whether you build a video, audio, or live streaming app. As an expert app development company, here is our estimated cost for developing a digital streaming app for the native and cross-platform approach. Now it is up to you whether you want to go for native development or choose the cross-platform option. Our advice is to go for native MVP development, as this way, you can deliver a high-end user experience in less investment and not compromise on the app's performance. You should also know that factors like the type of developer, development location, technology, features, and a lot more also impact the final cost of your digital streaming app. Once you know how to build a digital streaming app, you are all set to start your app development process. In case you are looking for a development partner to develop your digital streaming app, or want to find out how much it will exactly cost to build your streaming app, you can always connect with us. The Grey Bear has been a pioneer in app development and designing for more than eight years now, and has catered to various projects about streaming app development. Whether you want to build a video, audio, or live streaming app, our development team holds expertise in all the fields and is always ready to assist you. You can connect with us today and get a free consultation from our experts who will guide you on your way to developing a streaming app. This is it for this video. Also, make sure to check out the other videos on our channel. We will be back again with another video on similar interesting topic. Until then, stay tuned.